Welcome to Freewater Experience. It's a beautiful day in July, midsummer. Fish are settled into their summer patterns, and today we're going to go pursue them with one of our best, most stable trolling patterns that we know. We're going to be trolling some medium diving crankbaits in 12 to 13 feet of water. Let's see what we can round up today. Summer offers a lot of fishing opportunities. You can drive out to 200 feet of water on Lake Michigan chasing salmon. You can sit in the dark soaking cut baits in search of monster catfish. You can drown minnows and waxworms beneath area bridges until you've filled a bucket with your favorite panfish. But think about this. When your business is taking families with fishermen of all ages out for three to four hour fishing trips, you want to get maximum results. We're looking for large numbers of fish with the chance of catching some real monsters. We're looking to cover water, find active fish, and put smiles on people's faces as quickly as possible. And hey, if it avoids having young kids wave hooks and bobbers in my face, all the better. Boil all of this down and you're left with one amazingly potent option, trolling. Day in and day out, we put more fish in the boat using our summer trolling pattern than by any other method. This pattern has worked on nearly every lake that I've fished and is so consistent it's the closest to a sure thing I know of in the world of fishing. Here's how it works. Our summer trolling pattern is centered around the use of medium diving crankbaits. These lures can dive anywhere from 8 to 12 feet deep depending on the type of line you use and how much line you let out. If you want to run them around 8 to 10 feet down, use monofilament line and run them 30 to 40 yards behind the boat. If you need to get them a little deeper, say down to 12 or 13 feet, switch to a thin braided line and send them back 50 or 60 yards behind the boat. Watch your fish finder and if you're keeping the boat in 10 to 14 feet of water, these baits will be just a couple feet off the bottom, right where the fish are waiting for them. When it comes to color, our top producers are shad patterns with a splash of orange on the bottom. Day in and day out, these natural colored baits draw more strikes for us than anything else we've tried. When the clouds roll in, we have noticed that a quick switch to a darker lure keeps us in the fish. Smoke or baby bass lures draw strikes from the fish during these low light conditions. In general, the saying holds true. Bright lures on sunny days, dark lures on cloudy days. Once you're out on the lake, look for the windy shoreline. Many fishermen look for the calm bays where they can avoid the wind, but if you do this, you're missing out. Wind pushes schools of bait fish across the open waters and eventually up against the wind-blown shoreline. This activates the food chain and the larger game fish go on the feed. Wind also tends to push floating weeds up against the shore, clearing the areas where you want to troll so you don't have to contend with weeds fouling your line. Sure, the wind can make boat control a challenge, but once you see how much more active the fish can be in these areas, you'll welcome a strong wind any day. Once you get to the windy side of the lake, focus your attention on the depth where weed growth stops and the first major drop-off starts. In most of our area lakes, weed growth stops at about 8 feet deep, and the first major drop-off happens at 10 to 12 feet. This is where we set our lines and start watching the fish finder. You can see here that we found an area near a point where the wind has brought in large schools of bait fish. They show up as a cloud on our fish finder in the top seven feet of water. Once you find them, you'll notice the large marks hanging out just below these massive schools of minnows. These are the fish you're after. At this point, it's time to keep one eye on your fish finder and the other eye on your rods. This is something huge. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get.
middle of the summer, hot weather. Get your crankbaits out, hit that 13 to 14 foot depth, and you just never know quite what you're gonna get. Another sheep head, big boy. There's a little white bass here. You never know quite what you're gonna get. And it looks like I'm getting some right now. To say that this pattern is versatile is a huge understatement. By trolling crankbaits in the summer, we've had the chance to catch nearly every species of game fish in our lakes. In our particular waters, sheephead, white bass, smallmouth, and largemouth make up the majority of our catch, but we've had the chance to boat a variety of other species, including walleye, catfish, and some awesome, awesome pike. Drag some medium diving crankbaits behind your boat in the summer, and you never know what's going to come and take you for a ride. Another Spring Lake sheephead. Whether you call them sheephead, freshwater drum, doesn't matter as long as you make sure to call them fun. These are hard fighting fish and they're a blast to catch. I don't care if you're 15 or 50. An afternoon of these things is a great afternoon of fishing. Let's get you back in the water. From supersized smallmouth and sheephead to truly monstrous largemouth and pike. You give summer trolling a try, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video by Free Water Experience. Feel free to check our website for future videos, along with other articles and opportunities to get involved in our programs. We'll see you next time on the water.